Hi, welcome to the birthday bow uh, tutorial, a uh, part of my uh, boutique bow class. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the number and how to do the corker ribbon, which is very simple. Um, all you're going to do for the base of the bow is uh, watch the the main bow making tutorial. You're going to make a, a big green one and then you're going to make a slightly smaller pink one. And then I just wrapped it all together with uh, dental floss. So that's all that is. You could hot glue it together too, I guess, um, but I just used um, dental floss. Now let me show you how to do the corker. Um, you're going to preheat your oven. You can actually cook ribbon, which I think is so cool. You're going to preheat your oven to 310 degrees and you're going to cook these in the oven for 10 minutes. So you're going to get uh, some of your 1 8 inch ribbon, which is supposed to come right off. Come on, there we go. And then I have the smallest little dowel that I could find at Michael's. And I'm just going to attach my ribbon right on there. And then I'm going to basically wrap it around without leaving any spa, not any leaving any space at all and you just keep going all the way down to the end of the ribbon. Now with all of these classes every single piece of ribbon that was cut was one yard because that was the easy way to just divide each um, package of ribbon into ten pieces since it's ten yards. Anyway you just keep, you, you kind of see what I'm saying. I don't know that doesn't help. You just keep wrapping and then just stick, you know, when you get to the bottom, just stick it on with the glue dot. And then you're going to use a, uh, a pan, some kind of pan in your oven. You don't want to stick these directly onto the um, rungs in the oven. They might burn. So you do want to put them on a pan. Um, and some people have suggested that you do it on an aluminum foil pan just because sometimes the uh, adhesive from the glue dot or if you use scotch tape, whatever you use to put on there, could get onto your pan. So I would um, go ahead and uh, line it in foil. But you don't need to spray it with Pam like you would think. Anyway, so when you finish, when it's baked in there for 10 minutes, it just slips right off the dowel and it, it it's so cool. It's just, it's it's perfect. It just baked right into a coil. So what I'm going to do I've got my pink and my yellow and I'm going to fold the fold this into thirds somehow. Let's see if I can do it. That's good enough. Then I'm going to just cut it. So now I have six pieces of corker ribbon, which I guess are each a third inch, third of a yard long. Okay, I'm going to put those aside for a minute. Now I'm going to show you how to make uh, the number green. I basically uh, used my um, Big Shot again with our numbers die and cut out a five from just a literally a piece of scrap cardboard that I have. That I, uh, it's, very, it's very thick though. And the way that I'm going to emboss this is I'm going to use our Versamark, which is our watermark ink. And I'm just going to stick it right on top. Get ink all over it. So it's just kind of shiny now. You can kind of see how shiny it is. And I'm going to put it in my powder pal, which has a cool little funnel on the end so that when I'm done with my powder, I can just funnel it back into the package. And I'm going to sprinkle it generously all over. And I'm going to take my, I've got some little jewelry scissors that I use. And I'm just going to pick it up by that. And I'm just going to tap it off. Get the excess powder off. And this is what I have. The green sticks to it. And while I'm still holding this, I'm going to use our heat tool, and I'm going to heat it. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's going to heat real well.
sure and get that part underneath the. Just get that part right there. Okay, and now you have an embossed green five. Drew, just one minute, please. Oh, I don't want to start this video over again, but the child is screaming for me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to lay our corkers. i put our corkers on here, just like an X. Sweetie, I'm doing a video right now. I need for you to be quiet just for one more minute. And... I'm just going to put them on like this. Just keep layering them on. Mom? Just a minute, please. Are you talking on the phone? No, I'm doing a video. I'm just going to lay them all right on there on top. And then I'm going to get a piece of dental floss. And just like when I'm doing my, dip, my bow, I'm going to just wrap it around. Mommy. I'm going to just rub that around. And then I'm going to tie a bow. Tie it in a knot in the back. And I'm going to tie it again. And now I have this cool, cool birthday bow. And you can trim those. I might actually trim them a little bit. I mean, that's, that's kind of long. So I think I'll trim that one. I don't know, the rest kind of look cute. So I'm going to leave that like that. And instead of putting something right here in the middle, I'm going to put my number. Because that's what this is, the birthday bow. So I'm going to put this on my bow, and I'm going to look for three places that it looks like it might touch the bow. So I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put a dot here, here, You're doing great, Mom. and here. And I'm going to stick that right on there. Now I got it stuck here, here, and here. And we just fan it out a little bit. And we're just gonna. Oh, I think that is so cute. Okay. Now we're just gonna throw a clip right on the back. Just put a little bit of glue on the top, like usual. Stick this. Right on the back. I forgot to trim the dental floss, so we'll do that in a minute. I trim my dental floss in the back. And that, my friends, is a very festive happy birthday bow. Thanks for watching! Bye!